Hey, doing all right? So, how did our sand wall perform? Did it keep your house spick and span, sand free, speckless even? Awesome. Glad to hear it. I had a theory that a flying sand type would be weak against walls. Well, in any case, this is still only a prototype. At some point, I'll look into improving my design and call it, hmm, I don't know, something along the lines of sand wall level two. Working title, working title. In any case, don't forget to always come in and check on my catalog over at the CJ, short for Construction Junction, and stay up to date on what kind of architectural additions you may be in the market for. Thanks for the feedback. Catch you later. Good. It seems you followed my instructions to not make any mistakes. These materials will do. Good. It was no small task, but it's done. I almost hate to put the suit back into the field, as impeccable as it looks now. But alas, bound to the pursuit of knowledge, I must. Presently, your assistance is no longer required. The subsequent tasks to be completed require knowledge far beyond your area of expertise. Goodbye. Liga 5 has a rather satisfactory collection of relics to study. But as with many things, it too was finite. The only way to continue my research was to seek out novel data in the field. Hence, my entire reason for being here.
Fancy seeing you here. Hey, come check out this view. It's only right here that you can see both valleys of the canyon. But if I'm being honest, I really just came here to admire our handiwork from a different angle. You know, when I said my master Verna would be proud, actually, I'm not so sure about that. She's more into deconstructivist architecture. Oh, sorry, that's... Deconstructivism is a design thing. You deconstruct all the rules that you're supposed to follow, then actively set out not to follow those rules. The result is usually something pretty odd-looking, but neat. You know, if you're good at it. Verna's probably one of the first architects since the old world that uses this style. And I was pretty good at it, too. It's just that this bridge doesn't really need the extra bells and whistles. Know what I mean? Here's one for you. Verna used to ask us this as new apprentices. Would you rather build something really beautiful or really useful? Exactly, yes. The world being the way it is, that's what we have to be doing. Making the free cities a better place for those who need it with useful constructions. Master Verna, however, doesn't see things that way. Anyone can make something that gets the job done, she'd say. All of you are here to turn your plain ponderings of purposeless pavement piles into things of divine beauty. And though I'd do and always will appreciate a good alliteration, that ended up not being the path for me. Now don't get me wrong, I love superfluous geometric patterns on my buildings as much as the next gal. It's just, I couldn't stay in Atara working on vanity projects knowing that the people I care about were here hurting. So after I finished my apprenticeship, I packed my bags tossed all my job offers in the trash can, and bought a one-way ticket back to Sandrock. My master, she's a piece of work. You know the last thing she said to me? She showed up at the train station with one of those weird little pigs of hers tucked under her arm. Just to squeak out one last, you're wasting your talent. But when I see this bridge we built, this plain old run-of-the-mill, just doing its job and nothing else, very non-deconstructivist bridge, I know in my heart that I did the right thing in coming back home. We saved Sandrock, you know? This won't be our last fight, but very well could have been. It's good having you on the team. I hope you'll stay here. At least till we can turn things around for this town. Well, shucks. I didn't mean to tell you my whole life story. You probably got places to be, huh? I'll probably stick around and soak in the view a bit longer. Well, 
have rested long enough. About time I headed back. That was fun. We should hang out more. Later.
Yeah. Come back here, you dirty varmint! Burgess! Are you all right? What happened? Logan! He came out of nowhere! I... I couldn't stop him. It's okay, as long as no one's hurt. Well? The coward escaped. He's gone too far this time. I'm afraid you're right, Sheriff. I think we need to face the truth. Logan is no longer the person we knew. He and his gang need to be brought in. For too long we have allowed him to do whatever he liked because we respected his paw. But after the temple incident, the hijacked train, now with this water tower, it's just the last straw. What's wrong with that boy? Old man Howlett would have been so sad to see his boy acting such a fool. We showed those gigglers that sand rock ain't nothing to mess with. What's a couple of podunk, two-bit crooks to brave folk like us? I say we get a posse together and make Logan pay for what he's done. Say no more, Minister. Civil Corps with me. Let's see if we can't track down that ne'er-do-well before the trail goes cold. Hey, now. As senior officer and guy who's been here in this town way longer than your Mr. Macho protein huffing behind, I give the orders round here. But, uh, yeah. Unsure? Do a pin set. Let's ride. Now, we need to get ourselves a new water tower in a hurry. Without it, our town can't easily access water from the Oasis. The only solace I can find in all this mess is that at the very least, the water tower was almost empty. Our next shipment of water ought to arrive soon. But before that... Where is that Commerce Commissioner? Uh, right behind you, Minister! Yes. Yen? I need your guild to help our town rebuild this water tower before the next water shipment. I trust y'all can handle it? Is the sun hot? Does sand stink? Of course we can handle it! We'll also make the new water tower absolutely, positively Logan-proof! There's just one minor thing. The inconvenient matter of... <clears throat> the bill? Hmm. 
Oh, of course, of course. Uh, I'll just put it on the tab. I'll have my builders working on it by tomorrow. Hear that, builders? Oh, drat. Where did the other one go? Go find that slacker co-worker of yours and tell her to expect the job to begin first thing in the morning. Pronto! All right, folks, let's move along then. Nothing more to see here. Let's just trust in our civil core that there will be no more of these incidents. Indeed, y'all. Rest assured that everything is going to turn out all right in the end. enough, Mr. Arvio, was it? Remind me, whose shop is this again? <laughs> Sorry, am I overstepping yet? I just feel there really must be a way for the two of you to work together. Mr. Mysterious, perhaps you just hadn't noticed this particular part yet. It's got a lot of potential. Surely this one is mysterious enough to add to your stock. Please. Call me the Mysterious Man. Mr. Mysterious was my father's moniker. But on the subject of mysteriousness, I'm afraid this pot could hardly be called mysterious enough for one such as myself. It's, at best, quizzical. It has never been my intention to have my work be confined to a singular aesthetic. Much less a single word. If my wares are of no interest to you, then I believe we are done here. I have other orders to attend to. You think I don't know what I'm talking about? You know, people don't come to this shop for the quality of the goods, right? You do know why they come, don't you? How dare you? Have you no sense of dignity? Hey! Don't take it personally. Look, I've been around. I've seen the best. If I brought my guys from Walnut Groove in here to see this dull junk you're peddling, they'd laugh their butts off at the mere notion that you're anything but an amateur. And what is that kiln you've got back there? Looks like it's from the Stone Age. Hey! That's my sister's livelihood you're talking about there, pal! Quiet, Javio. Indeed. I use a traditional kiln. Glazing requires a kiln with more advanced temperature controls. So, you know all about it. What's your excuse, then? Old ways are best? No. Money. And besides, though a traveler as yourself may have encountered such things, the more advanced kilns are rare and their construction is still a well-guarded secret by masters within the ceramics community. Well, if you're a true artist, go and seek one of these masters out. Get off of your high horse and beg if you must. Till then, I have no business being here, and you have no business acting as though I do. Then you get one for me. Why would I do that? You said seek a master. You're the so-called master of trade, who claims he can get any rare item from any rare place. Get me a new kiln, and I'll prove to you that my ceramics are as good as anyone's in whatever sky it is you speak of. You think I'm really gonna lug a kiln halfway across the free cities, just so you can maybe feel better about yourself? Nah. Get me a diagram, then. I'll have one built. What's in it for me? Hmm? Oh! The local builder is here. 
We were just thinking about you. I'm going to need your help. Hey, I didn't agree to do anything yet. Hold your horses. Your friend here is very astute. In business, all things are conditional. And everything has a price. It is as you say, Miss Amira. I am a master of trade. There is no item too rare for me to find. But such a service comes at a cost. 5,000 golds? What? You're really not afraid of taking advantage, are you? You think so? Nah, <laughs> really. I'm taking it easy on you guys. You know what? I actually happen to think grey, non-glazed pots are pretty neat all of a sudden. Perhaps we ought to forget about all of this price gauging and... No, Avio. His price. It is fair. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Uh-huh. Wow. Offers on the table. If you decide you want my help, I'll be staying at the Blue Moon for about three days. Come find me if you get the money. Or don't. Makes no difference to me. Pam? Honey? Amira, what should we do? Be quiet. I can't hear myself think. All our savings add up to around 3,000 goals. Maybe we could sell a few things, but... Are you really thinking of bankrupting us to our new kiln? Is it really going to be worth it? How do we know that mysterious man, and that even is his real name, isn't just blowing smoke up both our backsides? What? You have that much money to spend on kilns? How long have you been hiding your wealth? Can builders make that much money? I can't accept that. If you want to help, perhaps it would be alright for you to lend us what we lack. 2,000 goals. 5,000. It's just too much. Wow. So you really want to do this, huh, Em? Yes. Trust me, Avio. One of these temperature-controlling kilns will open doors for my shop, and probably be a lot of fun, too. Thank you. You will be repaid in full, very soon. Now, come, brother. Let us depart to the Blue Moon. Fetch the savings, if you would. Ah, yes, the savings. Easy come, easy go. I'm telling you, Logan's innocent. What? I know Logan. We practically grew up together. He was always the goody two-shoes. I just can't accept that he would do something like this. Um, Elsie, everyone saw him bomb the temple. And then the water tower, and then there's all the other stuff. I mean... I just want to be sure. Please? Alright, what can I help you with? See, I don't think he did this without reason. I want to take a look at his house, which is right here, and do some hands-on investigating. For the truth. What do you need me for? Because... Because? Because you're smarter than me, okay? Tell yourself short, Elsie. Oh, don't try to be nice, Mion. I'm dumber than a box of rocks. We all know it. The only way we're gonna learn all the facts is if I can get your help. I do want to help, but I don't think we can just walk so in. So we're in agreement then. <gasps> hey, keep it down. You trying to get us in trouble? <gasps> Shoot. <gasps> Move along. You didn't see nothing. I guess we're 
breaking into Logan's house to look for clues as to why he went off the deep end and blew up the temple. And we're gonna prove Logan's innocent, too! Uh, yeah, sure. Hey! Why don't you join us, Elsie? I think we could use one more member of the team who's... Um... Oh yeah! Cool, calm, collected, just like me. All right, you made your point. You're in. But I better not hear about you squealing, especially not to my pa. <sighs> well, then, shall we? The sooner we get through this, the sooner I can fix that window. Hunker in, you two. Spread out and look for clues. Uh, aren't you gonna do anything? I already came in here a while back. I didn't find nothing. That's where y'all and them higher education brains of y'all come in. Eh, alright. Let's look around then. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah, I've seen everything over there. Bunch of lame junk. No, Elsie, this is a clue. Huh? No way. Yes way. Take a look. hardly recognize anybody in this photo. Is that Logan's pa? And that's probably his ma. How come I've never heard anything about her? Um, sorry to interrupt, but how does this prove Logan's innocent? Everything we find here is a piece of the puzzle. Every object tells a small part of a bigger story. Also, Logan is not innocent. I would really give that one a rest. However, learning the motives of everyone involved brings us closer to the truth. And there's one person in this photo who will be able to tell us all about what happened at this wedding. Exactly. Owen is here in the background of this photo. He was there. He must know more about Logan's past. Her first clue! This photo is so old, I ain't even born yet. Hardly recognize anyone on here. Hmm... Well, I brought my camera. Why don't I start taking photos of anything we find that's interesting? I can mail copies to you guys, then later we can ask people in town about what we find. But, uh, try to be subtle. We're not supposed to be in here. Alright, let's spread out and keep looking. Howlet? Who 
could that be? Precisely, no doubt. The builder deduced this from the torn photograph and the initials H and C. H for Howlett. Or someone just asked pretty much anybody in town. Everybody knows Logan's pa's name. I thought y'all were just playing around. Yes, of course. Anyway, why is Logan interested in medicine? Somehow I don't see him as the type to shift from monster hunter to doctor. Why did he need to consult a doctor anyway? Well, despite the indecipherable handwriting, I can decipher that Dr. Fang probably wrote this prescription. Let's ask him about it later. These small bombs are meticulously crafted. The fact that they're made from everyday objects show that whoever made them had a good understanding of chemistry. Gosh, the standard of villainy really is pretty high around these parts, huh? Based on what I've heard about Logan, something like this is too sophisticated for him to have crafted himself. He must have someone really clever working for him, or backing him. Who's someone in San Rock who does a lot of fighting? Someone who might know who's been setting Logan up with these improvised bombs. Uh, I think we better not get the Civil Corps involved just yet. We did just break and enter a crime scene. Who might know about Logan and the bomb? Uh, yeah, he might be able to tell us more about what the bombs are made of, but this isn't quite Dr. Chi level science. Bingo! Penn's seen his share of fights. I'm sure he'll know where Logan's been getting his bombs from. some of this stuff. Isn't this RVO's 100% organic sand rock skin cream? And is this a recipe on how to make it? You use beauty products? Yeah, so? Uh, I just always thought... Never mind. Anyway, the products here are all unique to RVO's store. I kind of wanted to make some for myself, but he said they were all trade secrets. You're telling me Logan came up with the recipes? Of course not. Logan wouldn't concern himself with such meaningless pursuits. The nerd you seek goes by the name of... You got it. But, uh, wait, why is this important again? It means Arvio got these recipes from Haru, which means Arvio might know something. Hmm. The more we learn, the more tangled things become. Logan and his friends seem to be talented people. And now they're putting those talents to use in the wrong place. Let's ask Garvio what he knows. I don't think he'll be able to claim these as trade secrets anymore.
This must be Logan's paw's equipment. And Logan probably took the missing dagger. That's the only explanation that makes sense. What do you think? <laughs> uh, well, you know, elementary and all that. I'm sure you figured that one out already, too. But thanks anyway. Hate to get in the way of y'all's mutual back patting, but Logan and his father were monster hunters. Of course they had fighting gear. Monster hunters who had their weapons forged by Hugo. Look at that insignia. I'll get you a picture of the equipment later. Can you go and show it to Hugo? Maybe he can tell us more about the father-son pair. plan for the bombing of the temple wow i feel we found a key clue but why does the plan feel like it's been rejected and changed this is all a bunch of malarkey logan would never come up with no plan and certainly not a plan with no revisions he just does whatever his heart tells him elsie you're a genius huh i am this map gives us a clue about logan's It is just a map of town. I don't really see anything indicating where Logan might be now. This map gives us a clue about Logan's. Exactly! I can see it now. It's the wee hours of the morning. Haru, Logan's right-hand man, is scribbling madly on this map, begging Logan to see reason. No, Haru! I'm a mean bandit guy and I do whatever I want! Logan snatches Haru's plans right out of his hands, crumples them up and throws them onto the floor. We're bombing the temple and that's that! Hey, wait a sec. You just made all that stuff up. That'll prove a dadgum thing. Um, yes, everything I just said was pure conjecture. I suppose I could be wrong about everything. I guess they could have crumpled up that map for any number of reasons. This does give me another idea, though. Logan's attitude towards the church. I think it would be worthwhile to ask some of the pastors what their view on all this is. picture looks like it was drawn by jasmine okay now y'all are playing around what's a kid's drawing got to do with any of this well obviously it shows us that um i think so as well if jasmine was friends with haru and logan i mean they can't be that bad right when you lack somebody and they do something to hurt you that makes you double mad that's why everyone wants to bring Logan in. I think you're right, Elsie. Can you go talk to Jasmine later? Maybe she knows something we've overlooked. 
Well, we searched everywhere, dusted every corner, and looked in every nook and cranny. And we came up with Diddly Squat. It's a bunch of chicken scratch! Aw, oh, Fooey, had me going there for a second. Well, who knows? This could be exactly the break in the case we were looking for. The bombs, the medicine, Haru and Logan's past... It's all connected somehow. I just can't figure it out yet. What's your take on all this? Uh, I don't know, partner. I think I need to take a breather. I've been doing this investigating thing forever. Let's give Mion some time to ponder on these here photographs. And perhaps we might reconvene at a later date. Uh, okay. Thanks again for believing in me. Sorry I made you guys do all this. Uh, I still think Logan's a good guy, though. I hope you're right, Elsie. I know your heart is in the right place. And hey, don't talk like it's over. Maybe there really is something more we can do. All right, gang. Check your mailboxes for updates. Let's all head home. Exhilarating! I never thought I'd... Hey guys, hanging out in front of Logan's old uh, house, I see. Quick, say something smooth! Say the word and I'll take him out. Oh yeah, you gotta do that. That's just one of the many things I admire about you guys. Always a keen eye for what needs to be done around here. Well, see ya. Whew, that was a close one. Nice work. Alright, let's split up, gang. I'll provide updates for everyone via the mail. Check your mailboxes. Thank you. See ya. 
See ya! How fortunate of us to have crossed paths. It just so happens that you're my first customer of the day. Tell me, how's your brother doing? Perfect. That reminds me. I'm looking for someone to cooperate with on a little side gig of mine. If you're the right person for the job, there could be a lot of profit to be made. Want to hear my offer? You know of cooking, right? Basically, it's building with food. Hence my interest in working with you. No, no. No need to find a professional chef. That'll be too pricey. Anyway, I was traveling through Seaside, and I picked up a few of their signature peppers. They range from the super spicy, to the hyper numbing, to the ultra pungent. All uniquely delicious, borderline nutritious, and go well at just about any dish. And by any dish, in this case, I mean noodles. As something of a noodle connoisseur myself, I have a keen nose for what makes them pop. My thoughts are that these peppers may very well hold the key to reaching noodle nirvana. But why stop at just filling our stomachs when we could fill our wallets as well? <laughs> I'm sure that once someone creates the dish I have in mind, People will be lining up for decades just to get one whiff of them. Me? Oh, I don't cook. Which brings me to my point. You have a cooking station. That makes you as qualified as anyone. Once you get the dish right, I'll sell the recipe all around the free cities. We'll do it real fair, real amicable-like. Nice and square. 70-30. Wonderful! I knew you were the reasonable type. Good! It's a deal then. Now, my only hope is that you might succeed where others have failed. For this dish, let me be as precise as possible. You'll first need a bone broth as the base, and the noodles should be handmade with flour. Before boiling them, you'll need to add some leafy vegetables, as well as some seasoned fresh meat. Then, it's time to add my seaside peppers. I've blended 18 peppers and spices together to make my own secret seasoning. My senses are tingling just thinking about it. Builder, if you pull this off, we'll become a part of culinary history. In any case, you'd best figure this out in the next three days. You know how I roll, right? Can't stay in any place for more than three days. Usually it's two. I'm doing you a favor here. Plus... There are others out there who can build things with food, you know. Come find me when you've created the dish.